One of Scotland's most famous landmarks is the Bass Rock in the Firth of Forth. Seven miles away on the wild coast is Tantallon Castle, a ruined relic of the days when Scotland was a land of warfare and bloodshed, and each clan had its stronghold from which it defied the world. Built on top of the steep cliffs overlooking the sea, Tantallon Castle dates from the 14th century. For generations it was the home of the Angus Douglas clan, the men who held out longer than any against the invading English army. But at last General Monk captured it after a long siege, and then it fell into decay. Now it's a page of Scottish history written in stone. Another of Scotland's famous castles dominates the harbour of Dunbar. This is one of the most dangerous places for ships on the whole of the east coast, with rocks and sunken reefs. Oliver Cromwell contributed 300 pounds towards the building of this harbour as a naval base, but today the Dunbar fishermen use it for more peaceful pursuits. The castle has a secret water gate, from which the Scottish warriors, when they were besieged by land, used to put out to sea, row a mile or two down the coast, march back inland and surprise the attacking army from the rear. Parts of the castle date from as early as the year 856, and it was here that Mary Queen of Scots came when she was forced to fly from Holyrood Palace. When she surrendered to Queen Elizabeth's army, the Earl of Moray ordered that Dunbar Castle should be dismantled. And today it stands against the sky as yet another memory of Scotland's mighty past. 